talk about the far left. And, and of course, this should have been a message to Kamala. She should have realized this. But the second, a second squad member, the squad is like, what, eight congressmen, women, who are wacky left. The squad is wacky left. AOC is probably the most well-known member of the squad. But probably the second most well-known member of the squad is, is, uh, is Cori Bush. And uh, Cori Bush just uh, lost in a Democratic, uh, in a Democratic primary uh, in, uh, St. in a St. Louis district. She lost to a Democrat uh, in the Democratic primaries. Uh, this is a solidly Democratic uh, district, so whoever wins the primary is going to be a House member. Uh, but uh, the, the, the person who's replacing them, I guess, uh, uh, prosecuting attorney Wesley Bell, St. Louis uh, District Attorney Wesley Bell, um, is not a member of the squad, is not wacko left. Also, uh, you know, you, now, that, as we said, this is the second squad member of eight, that's like a quarter of them, who has lost recently um, a, a recent primary to a more moderate uh, a Democrat. The first one was Bowman, right? Um, uh, I forget what his first name is, but something Bowman, uh, who lost in, a both, uh, in both primaries. It looks like the deciding factor was a huge inflow of money from APAC. APAC, name, APAC what does it stand for? Alliance for something, something, Israel, something. Uh, anyway, they put in uh, they have committed $100 million primary candidates against squad members and beating them. And so far, it's been incredibly successful with two now, two now. I think the fundamental is here. Americans are not far left. Even Democrats, even people who regularly vote Democratic are not far left. And I think what you're seeing is, uh, you know, people are voting. They're voting for non-far left candidates. And that's basically uh, what's happened here. And, and this is a continuing trend, a, a school boards kicking people off of the school boards because they'd gone too far to the left. It, it, it is common. Uh, it, it has happened in, uh, she was, uh, you know, a defund the police and, and too left. America will not support a far left. And I think she's that smart. And, and I don't think, uh, you know, she's good at manipulating the system. She's good at getting ahead. She's just not that smart, and she's not good at, at basically strategizing. So uh, I think uh, three cheers for defeating the squad in Congress, for getting rid of them. Uh, they're a bad influence. They, uh, they're, they're bad for the Democratic Party, but they're really awful for America.